Welcome to the Prepper Almanac. Disasters can strike at any time, and it's important to be prepared. This 18-day plan will help you get started on your journey to becoming a prepper. Each day, you'll be given a specific task to complete, such as assessing your needs, making a plan, or gathering supplies. By the end of the 18 days, you'll be well on your way to being prepared for whatever disaster may come your way. Check out the links in the description of the video for ideas on what you may need. Now on to the step-by-step -step plan. Day 1. Assess your needs. What are the most important things you need to have in case of a disaster? This will vary depending on your individual circumstances. Consider your family's size, age, and health needs. Think about your location and what types of disasters are most likely to occur in your area. Day 2. Make a plan. Once you know what you need, make a plan for how you're going to get it and where you're going to store it. This will help you stay organized and make sure you don't forget anything. Day 3. Start small. Don't try to do everything at once. Start by prepping for the most basic needs, such as food, water, and shelter. Then, you can gradually add more supplies as you have time and money. Day 4. Be realistic. Don't try to prep for every possible disaster. Focus on the most likely ones and the ones that would have the biggest impact on you and your family. Day 5. Research. Do some research on the types of disasters that are most likely to occur in your area. This will help you understand what supplies you need and how to use them. Day 6. Start gathering supplies. Start gathering the basic supplies you need, such as food, water, and shelter. You can find these supplies at your local grocery store, hardware store, or online retailer. Day 7. Create a plan for communication. In the event of a disaster, it's important to be able to communicate with your family and friends. Make a plan for how you'll stay in touch, such as using a ham radio or a cell phone with a backup battery. Day 8. Learn first aid. First aid skills can be essential in the event of a disaster. Take a first aid class or learn online so you'll be prepared to help yourself and others. Day 9. Practice using your supplies. Make sure you know how to use the supplies you've gathered. This will help you be prepared in the event of an emergency. Day 10. Develop a plan for evacuation. If you live in an area that is prone to natural disasters, it's important to have a plan for evacuation. This plan should include where you'll go and how you'll get there. Day 11. Secure your home. Make sure your home is secure in the event of a disaster. This includes having a plan for boarding up windows and doors, and securing valuables. Day 12. Learn how to grow food. If you're concerned about food shortages, learn how to grow food. This is a valuable skill that can help you provide for your family in the event of a disaster. Day 13. Join a prepper community. There are many prepper communities online and in your local area. Joining a community can be a great way to learn from others and get support. Day 14. Review your plan. Review your plan regularly to make sure it's still up to date. This will help you stay prepared and make sure you're not forgetting anything. Day 15. Rotate your supplies. Rotate your food and water supplies so that you're always using the oldest items first. This will help ensure that your supplies are fresh and ready to use in the event of a disaster. Day 16. Practice your plan. Practice your plan regularly so you'll know what to do in the event of a disaster. This will help you stay calm and collected in an emergency. Day 17. Continue to prep. Continue to prep for the future. This includes gathering new supplies, learning new skills, and staying informed about current events. Day 18. Be prepared. By following these steps, you'll be well on your way to being prepared for a disaster. Remember, prepping is an ongoing process, so be sure to continue to review your plan and gather supplies as needed. In conclusion as we wrap up today's video. Prepping is a personal decision. However, it's a good idea to have at least a basic level of prepping in place. This will help you be prepared for whatever may come. Check out the links in the description of this video for ideas on what you may need in your prepping journey. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and let us know if there are any topics that you would like discussed in the future. And be sure to subscribe to the channel to learn more about prepping and share the video with others that may have a passion for prepping or are curious about prepping in general. Thanks for watching the Prepper Almanac.